Welcome back. This is Valerie with JNS Hobbies and Crafts, and we're on part three of the Winter's Eve mini album. And this is a free tutorial, step by step instruction. So let's get started on the part three. Okay, so we're going to set this one aside for a moment, measuring it, and I'm going to cut off this side. Got that little piece I am not going to keep. Grabbing my glue and gluing this across the top. There you go. Go ahead and open this up all the way to the back. Take the other little piece that we just cut off and we're going to put this right up here at the top. So I'm just going to measure it, measure it off on the side. Cut that little piece off just like I just did. Put glue on the back and I'm going to place it right at the top of this page. So for the top of to close this with, I'm going to be using pink ribbon. So I'm going to take some pink ribbon and I'm going to attach it to the back about an inch in. Go ahead and get your ribbon out. Probably going to cut about 10 inches twice. I'm going to turn this over. Now I want to mark it two and three quarters from the top. Three quarters on one side, two and three quarters on the other side. And I'm going to use score tape, but it will be re-glued down, remember, when you put um, your backing on. So it's going to get double, double boosted. So don't worry about it falling off. I got my score tape on. So I got my score tape off the backing. And I'm going to put my ribbon right at the mark on one side. Now the cool thing about this, putting it on like this, is that if it's off when you go back to the front, it's really easy to pull off, okay? So you just want to take it, tie a little bow, there you go. So in your reserve you should have this little piece, it's light blue, stripes with pink and little swirlies, and on the other side it's green. And we're going to cover the top. Make sure you don't go over your score marks on the bottom. First thing I'm going to do is measure this little side here. I'm going to cut this little piece off and I'll be right back. Put this piece in your reserve. So probably the easiest way to do it. Okay, so put it on there, pinch it, turn it over, mark here and here. So now we can see the little lines where we're going to cut our angle. I'm just going to snip it with my scissors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and snip off the cross the top of here, and I'll be right back. Got that trimmed up. We're not going to glue it down yet. I want to make a little pocket. Okay, so in your stockpile, you should find a piece that looks like this. It's 11, excuse me, by about one and an eighth. Okay, we're gonna make a pocket out of this. So go ahead and get your little piece here. Let's set this aside. And I just wanna cut it off at about measure over seven inches and cut. Throw the little piece in your stockpile. Why don't you put a piece of score tape on the bottom of this. Bring your little piece back over. Center it on the bottom so that you have the even amount of overage on both sides. Go ahead and fold it over. Glue it down. In your reserve, you should have a little piece of green. Looks exactly like this on the front and front back it's green. I'm going to just fit that on there and it almost fits exactly. So I'm actually just going to leave it just like that and glue it down. Okay. So now you can bring back your envelope you made. We'll glue this on the inside of the flap. Okay. Oops, so take our little ribbon. Okay. Okay, so we're going to bring out the page that we saved for page six. And this is going to go on here like that. I am going to go ahead and place it closer to the bottom because I'm going to leave the we're going to leave the top open for a a mat, a picture mat. So this is going to be dual purpose. So I'm going to just leave a little space at the bottom, maybe an eighth of an inch. Okay, and we're going to leave the top open. So I think we should put just a small, uh, a quarter inch piece of score tape right along the bottom and both sides and adhere it to our paper. But don't go uh, too far in. So keep it as close to the edge as you possibly can. So make sure that your score tape is on nice and snug score tape backing off 
And then we're going to go ahead and place this on our page. Press it down nice and tight. So just to show you, it has a little 4x6 card in the back. And when you push it in, you have a little decorative piece. Okay? So let's go ahead and turn this over and put score tape on it and put it in our book. Take the score taping back off and get your album. Alright, so time to get our album out and put our page in. Press it all down. I think I'll add some bling oh, just around this. Okay, so we are ready to start page seven. In your paper pad, I want you to locate this piece. It looks like this on one side, and on the other side it has a cute little window. Go ahead and cut the tab off the top and throw it away. Now I would like for you to measure over six inches and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. Let's put them this way, okay? Put them so that the snow is at the bottom and this is at the bottom, and what we're gonna do is we're going to measure over eight inches and cut and then we can have these for something else okay okay so this is what you should have go ahead and put these two pieces in your stockpile or your reserve excuse me and turn these over so this is the side we're going to be using okay seven and eight go ahead and just set these aside for a moment and i want you to get out two pieces of cardstock since seven and eight are going to match we are going to just run them, do them at the exact same time because you're going to do the exact same thing. So I want you to get out your, I want you to get out your classic and your delicate border basics. And out of your delicate border basics, for a start, I want you to get this one. We used it before. Okay. Looks like this. Okay. So I want you to take these two pieces of cardstock. We are going to leave them at the eight and a half across. So what I want you to do is measure, turn this way on both of them measure seven inches and cut both pieces okay so this is what you should have go ahead and put your two smaller pieces in your stockpile turn these to this direction so they're at the landscape go and get your delicate borders basic die that looks like and we are going to set it at the top of both of these in die cut so we'll start with the first one i want you to do the exact same thing to the second one i just want to be able to see my marks when i make them so eight and a half so four and a quarter same thing with this one. I'm just going to measure it four and a quarter. That's my little center mark. Okay, put this one up here for now. I'm going to place this die right up on the center mark. Make sure that it's exactly the same distance apart from top to bottom on both sides and three quarters an inch. So from the bottom of the die right here to the top of the paper is three quarters of an inch. And once again, we are going to die cut both pieces. So tape on the top always. So I want you to do this on both pieces and come back. All right, so I've got my two pieces and we're just gonna have to make a little snip to release them. Now this is gonna get folded over the back so I got really close to the top. So you don't have to worry about this being real straight. Just snip off and release. So now we have this. Okay, this is gonna be our first pocket and it's gonna be a pretty high, deep pocket but we're putting double pockets on. So put our score tape, sorry on the bottom of each of these pages. Down secure and pull off the backing. Now at some point we obviously know kind of what we're doing so we can move along a little faster now that we're already in halfway through the album. Like I said, two pages at a time. So take the first one, give it a little bend, center it, press it down, same thing, a little bend, center it, fold them over and glue them down. Okay, there's one. Let's go get the other one. Okay, so in your paper pad you should have this. It's blue on one side, and on the other side it has these uh, two six by sixes and then a 12 by six. Um, go ahead and take the tab off, cut the tab off and throw it away. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn this this way, measure over six inches and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. I'm going to keep the one with the windows and put it in my reserve, and this is the one we're going to work with. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and take this piece, measure over six inches and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. So now I need you to go out and get your delicate border basics and pull out this die. And it looks like this one. <clears throat> so pick up that one. And then out of your, <coughs> excuse me, create classic border basics, you're going to pick this one. And it's this little lacy loop one that's dark purple right there okay again I'm just gonna set those two pockets we made aside so they don't uh, get in your way 
we're going to do the exact same thing with both pieces, okay? And I'm going to find the center of my paper, which is obviously going to be three inches. Make a little mark. Same with the other one. It's going to be the quickest two pages you ever made. Making them together. Get out my tape. First of all, sometimes it's easier. I'm sorry, I taped them together. Oh, I'll see the easiest way. There is a, this is the center dot. I'm going to line it right up with my mark that I made. You should have two dots on the ends off. It'll line up. Now, what you need to do is make sure that you're the same distance from the top, quarter inch. So I'm quarter inch away from both sides. Tape on the top so that I want you to go do the same thing to both pieces, okay? So go ahead and cut these out and come back. Okay, so this is what you should have. These two pieces came off the top. You can go ahead and put those into your reserve pile. You have this cute little lacy vine. It's gonna get glued in and tucked right up there. So we're going to cut this off the top of this. And what we're gonna do is take apart the ones we just used, take the larger one and set it aside. Make sure this one's cleaned out. This is the one that has the little lacy trim. And we're going to use it to cut these right off the top, okay? So go ahead and do the same thing. We're just gonna I'll set these aside for just a second. So we're gonna place this piece right up against the top of this, lay this on here evenly, and go die cut it off both pieces, okay? So I'm not leaving you hanging. This is where I've attached it, right at the top. So go ahead and cut both of them and come back. Okay, so this is what you should have. These little pieces are really kind of worthless. They're weird looking anyway, so I'm just gonna toss these in the garbage. So now we're going to go ahead and put these on here. Now you're gonna notice that your blue is gonna be short at the bottom, but we have another pocket going over the top of it, so it really doesn't matter because it's not gonna show. So let's get your glue out. In the first one, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. Now I'm actually gonna make sure that I put a little bit of glue on all of these little curls. And carefully place it at the top. Isn't that cute? Place it right up against there and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay, get this one. So you're going to do the same thing on both of them. Okay, so go ahead and glue the other one on and we'll be right back. You're ready for the bottom pocket. Now in your reserve you should have these two pieces and they're both eight and a half by I believe four. And we are going to leave them this way. In your Delicate Border Basics, you are looking for this die. Go ahead and measure out, set these aside for a second. Measure the center of each of your cardstocks. Just makes it easier to get it correct. Four and a quarter, four and a quarter. Get me some tape. We are pretty much gonna do the exact same thing that we did before. We're going to do the white one, only this time the curve is going to go the opposite direction, which I think is going to look pretty cool. So you're going to push the top humps right up against the top. Get your center mark. Go ahead and tape it down. Die. Do it to both pieces and come on back. Okay, so same process. Let's release these straight over. And I'm gonna throw these away. Bring over your pages. This is gonna be a bottom pocket. This is gonna be a bottom pocket. So let's get them ready to fold over and glue down. First of all, put your score tape on the bottom of both of your pages. Literally to the bottom, not the bottom of the blue, okay? Get these on here centered. Press them down. Again, centered. Press it down. Fold them over. I'm going to take my scissors and cut this little piece that's sticking out off both sides. Okay, so for the bottom pocket, we are going to be using the church and we are going to be using the little girl with the Christmas tree. So go ahead and trim off the top and throw that tab away. So you're just going to split these into four pieces. I need you to cut straight down the middle and straight down the middle, okay? Be right back. This is what you should have. All four pieces are separate, okay? We are keeping this one, and we're keeping this one, okay? Go ahead and put these two in your reserve. Okay, so in your Delicate Border Basics, we are using this one, 
and it looks like we're using this one. We are only going to cut a small portion of this out. Set it in the center, and how you'll know it's centered is you'll have these little notches on both sides. Get those centered, and then you're going to measure. There's three dots right there. Go from the center dot, your ruler right at the base of the pink. Okay, we're just under the center dot. From this dot, the bottom of this dot to here, I am three and two and seven eighths, I'm sorry. And then we're even across the top. So we're gonna cut this part all off. And then I want you to do the same thing with this one. Okay, so I want you to be really careful when you pull your tape off. So once again, uh, we can use this top part for another project. All right, so go ahead and put this little piece in your reserve pile. Okay, so that one is all done. And it's a little off on the centering measure. Getting my tape ready. Right on the money. All right, second one, double check. Just kind of lay it on there just to double check. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go cut my second one. Okay, let's get this one released carefully. This piece goes in your reserve. Go ahead and clean out your die and put it away. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our score tape on. Just fold, flip them both over. And these are not gonna be all that heavy, so we're definitely just gonna put a frame all the way around. One down the center and two short ones on each side, okay? Okay, so you have your album opened up to seven and eight. And I'm putting the church on the left, and get it all nice down and snug. It's time to embellish. All right, so for embellishments, as you can see, I added a row of bling on this curve and this curve, and a row of bling here to match one of my beautiful blue poinsettias, set us, set yes, <laughs> and a little diamond stickles all along the church and all the berries and the Christmas tree and my angel wings. Now I must let this dry, and by the way, I can't move this all the way back. There's a row of bling right across the top of that, all the way around this, and again, inside, diamond stickles on all of the Christmas tree ornaments, wing, angel wings, poinsettia centers, and inside here, again, I did the same thing, diamond stickles in all the same places. So let's let that dry. Okay, so in your paper pad, you should find this piece. It has these bright green stripes, and on the other side, it looks like this. Go ahead and cut the tab across the top and throw it away. Now, I'd like you to measure over six inches and cut. This is what you should have. Go ahead and turn it this way. Measure over eight inches on both pieces, like this, and cut. This is what you should have. These are the backs of nine and 10, and this just goes in your reserve. Go ahead and set 10 aside for now, and we'll start working on 9. The two smaller pieces that I just had you put in your reserve, go ahead and set these aside. We're going to use them. Okay, in your stockpile, we're looking for a piece of cardstock that is 8.5 by 4.25. Okay, go ahead and get out your Classic Border Basics, and we are using the top two for now. And then I want you to set aside the one with the little curlies that we were using earlier, okay? So I'm just gonna set our page aside for just a second so it's not in our way. So this should nest perfectly inside of this. So once again, I'm going to nest them together and tape them down so that they don't come apart. So those are nested perfectly inside of each other. We're gonna do the same thing we've been doing, guys. We're gonna measure across the top, mark at the uh, center point at four and a quarter, and line up your die. This is what you should have. Go ahead and run it through your die cutter, and I'll be right back. Release your die. Go ahead and keep the, take your scissors and release your die the same way we have. I'm gonna throw this away. So set that aside for a moment. I'm just gonna push it up. In your reserve, you should have a small piece of green that looks like this. It's got some little goodies on the back. We're gonna use this to trim right up against this pocket. We're going to center the little one with the little pretty edges on it, right on this piece. So once again, I'm gonna measure. So it looks like the center's at approximately three and seven sixteenths. So we're gonna get this little die, okay? Go ahead and get this centered on there, and we'll be cutting this piece. 
got that piece all centered on. I'm going to run it through the die cutter. I'll be right back. I'm going to release this. So we are going to glue this piece in your reserve. You should find this little green piece. It looks like this on one side and it's green on the other. Okay. We are going to also glue this on here and create this pocket that's going to go across the bottom of our page uh, 9. So first, let's go ahead and get our glue out. We're going to go ahead and glue this piece, that little green shiny piece, right underneath of your die on here. This is going to be kind of an unconventional way to make a pocket. So let's just tuck this right up underneath of here. So we're going to cut off a quarter of an inch off the bottom of this. So go ahead and go cut a quarter of an inch off the bottom. Okay, this is what you have. I'm going to toss that in my reserve. Now this is a little bit shorter. Make sure this is even across the bottom. So it looks like it's about a half an inch away on both sides. We are going to take, and this is going to be a pocket, so go ahead and get your score tape out and run a piece of score tape right along the bottom of this white. That doesn't, it can go half an inch from both ends because we don't need it to go all the way across. So it's about a half an inch from here and a half an inch from here. Get your green piece evenly across the bottom. This is what you should have. It's got a little pocket. Go ahead and get out your page nine. Place a piece of score tape at the bottom, just like we just did on the other one. Make sure your score tape is tight and pull off the backing. Go ahead and get this piece that we just put together. Give it a little bit of a bend. And I need you to center it. That does it right there. Okay. I'm going to fold over the sides. Now you're going to make sure that you fold over everything. It's going to be a little thick. So fold over all the pieces. So this is just going to wrap all the way around, okay? And then go ahead and glue those down. All right, so the back is all glued down. I am going to be putting a magnet down here. So I've got a little magnet note in there. I went ahead and grabbed a piece of lace and measured it to fit right across the top of this green pocket. And I am going to let it stick up. I'm going to put a piece of score tape and I can still glue it down. Pull the backing off my score tape. I'm going to place my lace down. I'm take my glue, tack down my edges. I'm going to let that dry and move on to the next part of this page. So let's go get a brand new piece of cardstock. And I want you to measure over six inches and cut on the landscape. We're going to put the smaller piece in your stockpile. So I want you to take it at the landscape and measure over seven inches and cut. Go ahead and put your small piece in your stockpile. Get out your scoreboard. And at the seven inch, we're going to score at six inches. So we scored at six, move over one eighth, and score at six and eighth. And fold on both of the score lines. You should have this. It's blue with a cabin. On the other side, it's solid pink. We are going to cut this down to fit on here. And I need to leave at least an eighth of an inch all the way around. All right, so this is what you got to do. On the left hand side, you're going to cut off five sixteenths. And you're going to cut off five sixteenths down this side. On the bottom, you're going to cut off three sixteenths. So, since I made my mark on this side and I need to cut this side off, I'm going to cut off the three sixteenths first and then the five sixteenths and be right back. Okay, this is what I cut off. I'm going to put that in my reserve. And if you did this right, <laughs> I guess if I did this right, we should have an even eighth of an inch border all the way around, which is exactly what I wanted. Yay! All right, so let's go get our Victoria die out. And do not glue this on. Just set it aside for a moment. Now, you have your Victoria die. I also had you set these two pieces aside, so we're going to put them right here. And I'd like for you to get out a piece of your peacock paper. So let's start with our green stripes. These are going to be exactly the same. All right. So I want you to measure in a half an inch from the long edge of one of your green pieces. Okay. I'm going to put it on both ends because, and maybe even one in the middle. Okay. So I've got my little half inch line. You see that? I'm going to take Victoria and I'm going to butt her right up against that half inch line, making sure she's centered. Again, I talk, to, I talk as if this is a person. I'm going to make sure it's centered. 
I'm going to get some tape. Now, I'm more than likely not going to be using the piece that I cut off, but better safe than sorry. So, we're going to tape her down like that, okay? And we're going to do it on both pieces. These actually match up. So, then I would do this. See how these match up? So, I would put my half inch mark on this side. So, I'm opposite of the little berries, basically. I'm just pre making the line so I can show you, okay? So, then I will place her on this side flat. So, we're going to go ahead and cut these two out and be right back. All right, so we got both pieces cut, cut it. Both pieces cut. Make sure that you clean this out because we're going to be using it again. So, we're going to take our scissors and release the two green and blue striped ones very carefully. Snip and snip. Same with the other one. Snip. These go in your reserve. Never know. So set these aside for a second. Bring out your peacock paper. Measure over six inches on the landscape and cut. Take your skinnier piece and put it in your reserve pile. Now once again, measure up a half an inch. Now it's going to be a little bit harder on the shiny stuff, but do the best you can. Made a little line. I don't know, you can barely see my half inch line. I know it's on there, but it's really hard to see. Lay Victoria down, center her. I'm going to try not to tear the paper when I pull this one out. Okay, we're going to do two of these. All right, here's the first one. And again, I'm going to release it very carefully. Go ahead and clean your die out, and we'll place the second one. I'm going to go ahead and release this. Okay, here's our first one. So we can save this piece um, for another project. You just never know. So let's mark it two and a quarter. And two and a quarter. Stay in the frame for you. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to run a, a light pencil mark. That's where the base of Victoria is going to go. And then I'm going to measure half an inch down, half an inch down from there. So I'm measuring at one and three quarters and one and three quarters. And this is the mark where we're going to cut it. Okay? So measure up one and three quarters and one and three quarters and cut that slice off. I'll be right back. So we're conserving paper. I'm being a good girl. So the little piece that we cut off, the one and three quarter piece, goes in your reserve. Now take Victoria and put her on the first mark you made, which should be a half an inch from the bottom. Line her up side to side evenly and run her through the die. Okay, so this is our last one. Release. Get your scissors. Snip and snip. Okay, so this is what we have. But you're wondering what the heck we're doing with it. Well, you probably already know because you saw the finished book. So, so go ahead and get out the piece that we ch that we chiseled off the sides of, the one with the little cabin on it. And we are going to attach each of these and fold them over. Okay? So we need to do some scoring. So the first thing we need to do is I need you to clip each one of these right here on this end. I want this little tail to be cut off. So you're just going to clip that little piece off so that it's even right here with the edge of the die, right where the die stops. Okay, so each one of these clip that little piece off. I don't want that weird little straight line on my pieces. All right, okay. I'm going to make this really easy for you on each one of these. You can still see the half inch line. You're going to take your score marker, okay? You're probably going to have to use the line that you make, this one, because you can't butt this up against this. So you're going to score right along that half inch mark that is still on here, right, like that. So right along that line that you already have, you're scoring it. So each one has been folded over. Okay. Now, get out this piece. Okay, so let's place our first green one at the top. Make sure it's flush and centered. All right, that's important. It's very important that it's centered on both sides. Okay, pinch, turn it over, and glue it down. Next, I'm grabbing a white one. If you want to pull this one back, 
so that you get a white one on there nice and evenly. If you don't get it on there evenly, they won't fold over, so it'll be real obvious. Okay, get that one on there evenly, pinch, turn it over, and glue it down. Green is next. Open my white one, get it on there evenly, pinch, over, glue. Open that one, and the last one, ah, it's white, look at that, what a surprise. Get it on there evenly, pinch, glue. Okay, so this is what you should have. Now, the goal is for them to look kind of like they're folded like an envelope, so you can start with left, right, and then you want to take this one, fold it over, take this one, and tuck it. Now be careful because this white paper is pretty delicate. So you want to be really careful and don't bend up your lace. So it'll be it'll be a little delicate. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Let me zoom in. Once you have your little bow on it, it will look really cute. So now we just need to attach it to this. So this is going to go evenly on the top of this and I am going to score tape it down, okay? So this is how I score taped it, okay? So it's got three in the middle and a frame all the way around. Make sure it's down really tight and go ahead and pull off the back into your score tape and we'll adhere it to our, this piece right here. Get out your piece that has the hinge at the top. Make sure the hinge is in the back and all the folds are to the back. Make sure this is going the right direction. You wanna make sure that your cabin is at the bottom. Okay, place it on here evenly with an eighth of an inch. You still should have your little pencil marks, so you should be able to use those, okay? All right, so we got this all glued on, and I have made a decision that I was not going to at the beginning put anything on the back of these, but now that I've cut them, um, I think they need to be reinforced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of white card stock, and we are going to cut four more Victorias out of this cardstock right to the edge. All right, and we are going to glue them right on the back of each one of these. And this is going to keep this secure, and it's also going to help that when we put our ribbon on, that it's not going to um, break the lace. So let's go ahead and go cut out four of these out of your white cardstock, okay? Because this sheet's not going to fit through my die cutter. I'm just going to cut it in half. Okay, so first one cut. I'm going to go ahead and set it aside. And as you can see, I was able to get a second one on this piece. So I'm going to go run, a, run this one through and do the same thing on the second piece. So let's go cut all four of our Victorias out of our white cardstock and come back and meet. All right, so I have cut out all four of my Victoria backups. Thanks to this little ditty, it only took me about two minutes to get them all done and clean. So everybody should have a tool in one. So I've released all the dies if I had a couple of them that stuck to the edges. I'm going to go ahead and bring back my lacy piece. Now all we're going to do is glue little dots around all these edges and you're just going to apply these right to the back. Now you should have no problem with it touching the um, the bottom but if you if you need to you can always cut off just a little smidgen of the bottom now don't go crazy or you'll cut up into the holes but these should fit nicely and still fold okay so let's get them glued on I am going to make one suggestion I want you to make sure that when you line these up okay line them up and fold them over and make sure they fit that you don't have a gap down here that's pushing it away if so like I said trim off a little teeny piece. Did you have a tiny bit of white on the bottom? If yours has a lot more, you'll need to keep it pretty close to the bottom circles. All right, because if you glue these on and they don't fit perfectly, you're gonna turn it over and you're gonna have a little white showing through or have a little white, uh, kind of a weird frame. So be real careful. I wanna make sure that it all stays down. So I'm putting, this is what I love about my glue tip, you know, is that it allows me to make these very thin glue lines on something this lacy, okay? Now this little backing, even though it wasn't originally a thought, I think is not only gonna make this look a lot more finished and polished, beautiful. 
My first one is on the back. Press it down. Okay, we're going to do that on each one of these, okay? So they're each going to have a backing, and that's so much more secure. So let's go ahead and go glue on all the backs of our Victoria laces. All right, so I am so much happier with this now. I think that it's going to be more stable, and it's going to keep together better as well. So I have a little piece of ribbon. And this will also keep it closed even if you don't put the ribbon on it, but sliding a piece of ribbon through here would be, <laughs> might be a little more interesting. So let's see if I can do this. So, all right, so with a little red ribbon, it turns out very pretty. And the red ribbon, of course, will um, bring out the accents on the berries from the other page. So once it's placed on here and you have your other page next to it, it's going to pull out the berries and the lace down here makes it look really nice too. So this is going to be placed on the top and it's going to flip up. So we got to finish up a couple more quick things and we'll be done with this. So let me set this back over here and we'll get the back taken care of. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this over, flap at the bottom and you can see I have my little magnet note. We're gonna put a magnet down right about, I think I'm about a half an inch from the bottom. Flap is up here, guys, and it's fixed, it's folded up. Now, I am going to use a piece of score tape like I usually do. So, magnet, flap up, piece like this. Okay, so in your reserve, you should have this. It looks like this on one side, matches the paper we're using, and it's pink on the other. And in your stockpile, I'd like you to locate this piece. It's just a white piece of cardstock, obviously. That's eight and a half by five. So I want you to go ahead and measure over one and seven eighths on the portrait and cut. This is what you should have. I'm gonna set this aside so it doesn't confuse you. We are gonna use that. We're gonna put a pocket on it. Keep this shorter piece and put the other piece in your stockpile. Now go ahead and measure over seven and a quarter and cut. Take the small piece and put it in your stockpile. Now we are going to make a pocket with this. So basically this is going to be just right along the bottom of this. In your reserve, you should have a small piece of um, peacock paper that we saved off of our die earlier. Remember I told you we would use this? Well, this is going to cover this perfectly. All right, so let's go ahead and put our score tape along the bottom of our sheet right here. We all know how to make a pocket by now. Doing this enough in here. Go ahead and make sure it's down. Pull off the backing. A little bend. I have a preference to one side to the other. Evenly put it on there and then flush with the bottom where you just put your score tape. Bend over the corners and glue them down. All right, now go ahead and flip it over. Take your piece of peacock paper and it should fit perfectly white on white. Don't you love it? Okay. I am not trimming off the edges. I'm just leaving the white border on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Now the white borders are always just a preference. Sometimes I leave them and sometimes I don't. My inconsistency may bother you at times, but you are more than welcome to leave white borders all the way around on everything that you do if you would like. So go ahead and get out the piece that we have our little lacy stuff flap down because this is going to fold up this way, so you want to make sure that this piece fits right on here. Now, again, I did not trim a ton off of this piece. Now, and make sure that it does not go over your folds down here, so make sure it doesn't get glued past here. So get ready and go ahead and glue that on. I'm gonna take off the backing to my magnet so it stays nice and tight, and we're gonna glue this on. Okay, so go ahead and make sure that all of your folds, your scores are at the top and not on the back. We're going to go ahead and place this on the top, flush on both sides. Push it all the way down. Okay, so it's up against the top. Pinch, turn over. If it moves, start over and glue it down. Bring it back, push up so that you're spine at the top is flush 
and here's where we're going to do our magnet. Now, we're going to have to put our magnet inside the back of our pocket, but we need to mash, mesh, mash it up. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out which side. I threw my magnet on the back of here, so I know that if I turn it over and place it inside here, I'm, pop, I'm popping it inside my pocket. So I want my magnet, it's found its mate inside there. Okay, so I'm going to open it carefully. My magnet should be right down there. Hold your pocket. I know I made a boo-boo. You should be able to lift up and see your magnet in there. Take your glue. I'm going to lift my pocket with my finger and put a dab of glue right on the back of my magnet. Okay, so the magnet is glued right back here. Right? Now, if you put too much glue on it, you don't want it to uh, adhere itself to the back. So be very careful that it's dry. In fact, I'm really sorry I did this. Make sure that you have a little piece of cardstock or something in there while it sticks itself down. Take a piece of score tape and put it over the back of it just to reinforce it. I'll take a little piece of score tape. I won't take the backing off the score tape. I'm just putting it on there to reinforce it. I don't want to rip my pocket, but inside there you should be able to see the magnet. See it in there? So about this ribbon, um, so I've got it even. Okay, lay it down. I'm going to put just the teeniest piece of glue. Don't go crazy. Or you're going to have glue all over the place. And I glued it this way. Okay, so it's it's attached, just a teeny piece of glue. I mean, it's itty bitty. If you don't feel comfortable using hot glue, use regular glue. I'm going to keep mine in the um, in the box format. So once again, green down, white down, green down, white under. Press it all down. Okay, that's the way I'm going to do mine. Now this is hung, this is attached. So on the other side, I just need to get this ribbon through the white loop right in the middle. Pull it through. I'm going to even it out. Cut off all the little extra. A nice little clean edge on there. Let's go ahead and get score tape on the back of this. It's a little bit heavier page, so we are going to put a little bit extra score tape. I'll put mine on and show you how I did it. Frame. I did a extra line here, one down the center, and short ones here. Go ahead and remove the back to your score tape after you make sure it's secure. Get your album out and place it inside your page nine. All right, so I placed page nine in. Open up the flap, make sure all your edges are down nice and secure. And there you go. Um, I embellished so far, I just put a little row of bling on the top of this pocket up here. And I'm going to go ahead and put stickles here and stickles here. I decided I want to add a little tab and I'm going to add the one that matches right here. It's going to go right on the top of our pocket that's underneath of our lace piece. So go ahead and find this in your reserve. It's pink on one side and has four little cards. And cut out the one that says, baby, it's cold outside. Okay? So this is what you should have. And go ahead and put the other three in your reserve. Cut along the edges of this one so that it has all the extras cut off. A little fussy cutting. Okay, got that cut out. In your stockpile, you should have a small piece that looks like this. If you don't, just go ahead and grab anything that this will fit on. Okay, anything small. There's plenty over there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, leaving a small white border, a very small one. And then I'm going to cut around the border, okay? Tiny little white border. And then all you're going to do is go ahead and cut the rest to match the border. It's kind of like a little raffle ticket. Go ahead and put this piece in your reserve, I'm sorry, your stockpile, because just like I said earlier, you never know what you're going to need as far as sizes for projects. So this is just going to go right on this little pocket. Okay, so let me bring this down. My stickles are still a little bit wet, so I want to be really careful not to uh, mess with those. Okay, so I just placed it right on the front of that little white 
peacock feather pocket, okay? So we'll put a little stickles on that as well, and we'll let it dry, and we'll move on to our next page. So we're going to start page 10, and in your reserve, you should have this. We used it earlier and cut off the edge of it. <coughs> it matches this page perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a fold out. So set the bigger page aside for a moment, and I want you to get out a piece of your card stock that you had in your stockpile that is eight and a half by five and three quarters, okay? The first thing I want you to do is turn it this way, measure over eight inches, and cut. So go ahead and take the small piece and throw it back in your stockpile, and then turn it to the portrait and get your scoreboard out. I find it easier. We are on the portrait, just the long ways, okay? And we are going to score at five and a quarter, or five and an eighth, I'm sorry, five and an eighth, and five and a quarter, okay? So you're scoring at five and an eighth and five and a quarter. Go ahead and fold it. So get out your delicate border basics and we're using this die. And this die is fourth one down. So it's this one right here. Now, to make this as easy as possible, which I hope I'm doing, we are going to first trim this down so that it fits and then we're just going to use this curve that's already cut to place this so we know exactly where it's going to go. We are not going to be trimming any of this but if you want a white border and I probably will just leave the one I have there is a teeny white border all the way around okay so it's it's barely even a sixteenth of an inch I'm going to leave it that way I, I'm going to going borderless so make sure it's nice and snug on there. Don't move it, okay? Take this die, obviously, so that the cut part's down, and place it right against this curve. And we're going to tape it down, okay? I'm getting my tape out. So that die is pushed right up against that already cut shape. So I've meshed, I've pushed this up against this, remove this, this is what you're going to run through the die cutter, okay? Let's go ahead and run that through, and we'll come right back. Okay, so get this die off. Again, I'm not real worried if I uh, tear the paper. I'm more worried about the delicate little vines inside my die. So I'm trying to release as carefully as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push this little piece right up against the die, okay? and it is going to give me a natural curve line. I'm going to zoom in, okay? It's going to give me a natural curve line right here. I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to create that curve line on that end. Turn it over. So you can see this is where the die ends right there. And I'm going to just cut that little curve and that little curve with my scissors. And this ugly little thing, <laughs> it looks like antler horns, I'm going to toss in the garbage. So this is what you should have. And this is my scored side for my hinge that's going to attach to my page. You just have this cute little white vine. You can fold this over, glue this piece down on the front. It's all going to get covered in stickles. Like I said, I have a very teeny border. In your reserve, you should have a piece of blue paper that looks like this. On the other side, it has the little windows on it. Let's do this side. Measure over eight inches and cut and leave this little piece alone, just in case. Okay, this is what you should have. Go ahead and put this piece back in your reserve. This blue is going to go on the other side of this. We need to get it measured, and then we're going to use our Plastic Border Basics plain single strand very last one to cut the edge so it matches this okay then we line it up straight I'm just lining this up against it had I been smart <laughs> I wouldn't have glued this down first and I'm just taking my pencil and running it along those flat edges inside there just to give me kind of an idea of where my curve is. I'm going to cut my outside ones again. I don't know if you can see them. They aren't really dark, but I have a little 
pencil trail that almost looks like a large dotted line that I'm going to place this on. If you place it just above, you are pretty assured that even if you have to cut some off back here that it's going to fit. You don't want to short yourself. So find your line, run your die right across it. Another thing you should know is that you should have the same distance from here to here and here to here. I'm going to actually run this right where I can see my pencil marks. Got my die in place. So once you have it placed, be sure that you put your tape as close to the more of it on the top than you do on the bottom because this is the piece that we're going to keep. And obviously we can keep the top piece too if we get it cut right. And I'm going to go ahead and run that through my die cutter. Okay, so I've released my die. And once again, I'm going to just cut this little loop-de-loop -loop by hand right up to the release mark. Same with this side. So I just cut those little curves. All right. Go ahead and put this in your reserve. So I made mine a little bit bigger than I should, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off the edges and make sure that this doesn't go over my line. So go ahead and go trim all your edges and I'm not going to leave much of a border like I did on the even on the back, maybe just a sixteenth of an inch. So trim all your measure all your edges and trim them down and come back. Alright, so I got mine all trimmed down. And mine was just a tiny bit crooked, so I was able to uh, fix it like I said. We left a lot of room so we should have been able to uh, maneuver everything and I have a tiny little border all the way around, okay? So make, measure it to fit, make sure it does not go over any of your score marks. Don't glue down yet. So once again, I told you not to glue this down. Go ahead and set it aside and in your reserve, I want you to get out the piece that we cut off the top. We're gonna use the other side. Set it with this for a moment and get out a fresh piece of cardstock. Measure on the portrait three and a half inches over and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. Put the larger piece in your stockpile. Take this piece, measure 10 inches, and cut. This is what you should have with the small piece in your stockpile. And we're going to go ahead and get this piece and measure it using another one of our beautiful Heartfelt Creations Delicate Border Basics. We are going to get the opposite one this time. So this time we are using the third one. And the reason we have to use the third one is because this hump goes the other direction. Okay, so go ahead and get this die out for a second and I want you to measure this so that it is centered. That would mean you would have one inch on both sides. Since this is 10 and this is eight, we will trim this down, but for right now we wanna get that die centered. Go ahead and butt this up against the bottom. The same thing we did before. You're gonna take your die and you're gonna butt it right up against this. Make sure this is flush with the bottom. Put your die right up against this, put your tape, and tape it down. I'm going to take a pencil. I'm going to make that little curve mark that I'm going to cut for the extension before I actually do it. Take this off and run this through the die. Be right back. All right, so I've released my die, and I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors. Now, one inch of this and one inch of this is going to be folded under. So the cut that you make up to this point can just be straight and then I'm just going to curl right where my line is that I made. So I'm just going to go straight across and then I'm going to curl up to release. Okay, Same thing with the other side. I'm just going to go straight across to the line I made and then I'm going to curl up to release. And once again, this weird little horn thing isn't going to do me any good, but I am going to toss it in my stockpile because it is big enough to cut out some tags or something on if we decide to later on. So this piece should fit right up against there. But first, before we do anything, let's get out your blue piece that you cut earlier. And this is going to be a pocket, so I am going to erase off any little pencil lines I still happen to have on there. Get your score tape out and put a long piece of score tape right at the base of this square rectangle piece. 
Make sure it's down nice and secure and peel off the back of your, get your little pocket. Flurry. Oh. Get your little pocket. Make sure that you put it right on the lines. You made lines earlier. Make sure that those lines are even up. This will assure that your die cut is centered. Okay. Fold it over and glue it down. Alright, so get out this little piece that we had earlier. And we are going to leave the gray side up and the little berries. This is going to be like this on here, okay? So let me zoom back out a little bit. So measure it and trim off anything you need to trim. A little at the top, about a sixteenth of an inch to about a sixteenth of an inch at the bottom. And I am going to trim off about a sixteenth of an inch from the back. I'm going to leave just enough white border to put a row of bling right along here, okay? I'm gonna go trim and cut and be right back. All right, so I only cut off teeny tiny little pieces. I'm just gonna put these in the garbage, double check that everything's measured out all right, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. So I ran a simple row of bling, just like I said, along the edges, and the cool thing about a row of bling is that if you accidentally get your borders uneven between your die cut and the piece of paper that you cut is you can actually fill it in with the bling and give it the illusion that it is actually straight. So this will help if you are off a little. So let it dry and we'll attach it. So let's bring back the piece that we were working on earlier. Now this is the front and it's going to open up this way. So flip it over. Go ahead and place this on here and glue it down. All right. So we got that all taken care of. So go ahead and make sure that all of your scores on the hinge are front forward. Place it on the right side of your page, even on both ends, so it's even here, end to end. Push it all the way back, pinch, bring it in, and glue it down. Okay, turn it back over. Push it back so that your spine is nice and flat against the right side. All right, so let's get back out those little tags that we had earlier. And we are going to put one little tag on the front. I'm gonna use this pink one. So we're gonna cut that one out. And then on the other side, we're gonna use this one. So let's go ahead and cut those apart. Put the little Joyous Noel in your reserve. And I want you to go ahead and cut around these two little tags just exactly like we did before. So once I have them trimmed, I'm going to put them back to back and make sure that I trimmed them pretty close to the same. Look at that. Back to back, not bad. Go back in your cardstock pile and look for a tiny piece of cardstock that these will fit on. I think this is the one I cut off the last one. Before you go too far, I need you to go get two magnets. On the one that says warmest holiday wishes, I want you to turn it over and put a magnet on the left hand side. So, take it this way so that you have what you're reading, okay, flip it over and put your magnet right about there, okay, Got my magnet, then go ahead and turn it over, place it on your cardstock with an even amount of white all the way around, approximately a sixteenth of an inch, it's going to leave a little bulge, sometimes if you use score tape on it all the way around, it's actually going to lay flatter than glue, but that's up to you, so. I am going to leave this piece of score tape there. I think I'll go ahead and put a little piece of score tape along that side. Don't put in, don't make sure none of your score tape goes over the edges. This kind of helps to eliminate bulge. And then I'll put a little bit of oops, put a little bit of glue on the ends, but this is just for a, keep this magnet down so the magnet bulge isn't so obvious. All right. So, I'm going to give this a tiny little 16th of an inch border. See, it's much easier to keep that magnet down if you have score tape. I don't have as much of a magnet bulge. It does have a little one. Before I put the other one on, I'm going to trim first so that I can even it out. So I'm going to put leave the same border all the way around. Sorry about the mess on my table. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to throw those scraps away. So now, before you glue this on, Draw the magnet away for now. So this is going to go in the middle of this hump on this side. 
and you're going to turn it over. So this is going to go right here, and then you're going to turn it over and glue this on. So let's center this, and again, I am going to put a piece of score tape, a very small piece of score tape. Now, read it this way, turn it over, and put the score tape on this end. Okay, so look, reads this way, flip it over, score tape on that end. If there's any hanging over, flip it off. Right in this center piece, these are your center pieces. Center it right over it. I'm going to put it right about where the W starts, the curl on the W, and place it down. Okay? Now, see the score tape keeps it nice and snug. Turn it over, take the other tag, and place it right on top. And if you'd like to, you can score tape this one down or glue it, whichever you prefer. I don't want to wait for the glue to dry, so I'm actually going to score tape mine. And I'm staying away from the edges so that I don't have to worry. I can always put a little glue around the edges, but the score tape is quicker. If anything goes over, you want to make sure you get rid of it, okay? No score tape over the sides. If you place this with the same border, it should be even. See? Okay, now I can zoom out. Oop, a little bit more. There we go. So this is what you should have. Find your magnet friend and put a piece of score tape on it, on your magnet friend. Kind of cool, huh? Ta-da! All right, so I added a little bling right along the edges of the outside of this, okay? And I turned it over, and I was going to add some bling right here, but I was afraid this would be too bulky, and we have so much going on on page 9 that I didn't want to overbulk it and keep the magnet from sticking. So I took some silver stickles, and I just ran a very thin border along the edge of this, and it finishes it off just beautifully. So, you know, I was almost thinking about putting silver stickles, but I think I'll put just some diamond stickles all along the edges of my vines on this side and all along here. So let's go ahead and um, while this is drying anyway, I'm gonna add all my diamond stickles to the back of this page. Same way I've always done it. And even if somebody wants to put a picture over the top of it, it's not gonna matter because they can put a picture over the stickles. It doesn't affect anything. So go ahead and add your stickles. And I'll be back. Weird. Oh, there you go. You can see a little bit of my stickles. And then a little bit of stickles on here and across the snow. And then I took and I actually added stickles on the leaves that are along the edge of this one. I did not do it on this one. Now I gotta let this dry, okay? So, okay, so my stickles are all dry. Everything is dried up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put score tape along the back of this and down the center, and then two shorts on each side, and then I'm going to place it in the book, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna get this placed in, get everything patted down. This page turned out really pretty. All right, I've got a blue poinsettia, poinsettia that I would like to place right here, and a couple of leaves, so I'm gonna get out my blue gun adding a blue poinsettia right there and a couple of leaves tucked underneath tucked underneath so nine and ten all right done uh, go back a page to eight and seven and eight and I added a silver poinsettia small poinsettia with leaves as well right next to the church so these two flowers will not fall against each other okay I also decided to add a little pink poinsettia right there as well. So I've got a medium-sized blue and a small pink. Okay? Alright, so it is time for the last two pages. In your paper pad you should find this. It's a really pretty lime green pattern on one side and it looks like this on the other. Go ahead and uh, cut off the tab off the top and throw it away. We are going to measure over six inches and cut. This is what you should have. We're going to go ahead and turn it this way. So we've got this little window and stuff on the right. Never know. And we're gonna measure over eight inches on both pieces and cut. This is what you should have. And you can see that I got a little decor on the bottom of these. Never know what you need them for. They might even be pretty for mats. So this is the back of 11 and 12. Go ahead and set them both aside for just a moment. 
And now we're going to get this piece out of your paper pad. It's dark burgundy on one side and it has these little deer on the other side. Once again, go ahead and cut off the top of the tab and throw it away. So I'm going to be trying something new. I think you'll like it. I need you to measure over eight inches and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. On one side it looks like this and the other side looks like that. So go ahead and put this piece in your reserve. Now I want you to turn this one over because we are going to be cutting off this part. So turn it this way. Measure over 11 inches and cut. So you're just going to basically cut off <laughs> the bottom of this deer's legs. Okay? This is what you should have. Go ahead and put this small piece in your reserve. And you basically should now have an 8.5 by 11. So let's get our scoreboard out. So we want to have this the long ways on the board. And we're going to make three scores this direction. The first score is going to be at three and a quarter. The second score is going to be at six inches. And the third score is going to be at eight and three quarters. Okay, so you got one at three and a quarter, six inches, and eight and three quarters. Okay, let's get this out of the way for just a second because this doesn't have sixteenths on it. So we're going to have to make some marks and the easiest way to do it probably is on the other side because it's lighter. The first one we want to do is 15 sixteenths. So let me kind of get this over here. So 15 sixteenths, um, mark right on there, 15 sixteenths, make a mark for a score. And then you're going to come down and make one at 7 and 1 16th. Those are going to be our score spots. Okay. So on your marks, go ahead and move your marks so that it is meshed up with one of the score lines. Because again, this only does eighths, so we don't have sixteenths. And score down your first score mark at 15 sixteenths. I just measured it right up to one of my score lines. And do the same with the other side. Measure your score mark that you made up to one of the score lines and go ahead and score down that one. Need this to wrap around our six inch page this way and if I mark it right at an inch and an inch it's going to bow. You'll understand in a minute. Okay, so here's what we have. We're going to start with this side and what you're going to do is you're going to take your first fold which was the one that if it was this way would be at three and a quarter. You're going to turn it this way. So this is your three and a quarter, this is your six and this is your eight and three quarters. Okay, so you're going to take the bottom and you're going to fold it up. So deers are on the inside. And I am going to be using my bone folder. Then you're going to flip it over, go to the next score mark, and fold it back. Okay, and again. Then you're going to flip it over, you're making a zigzag, and you're going to fold it back. And I'm going to do this again. Okay, so this is what you should have. So you got it inside, inside, and you have a little bit of the trees, and some blue, and some red. There you go. Now, go ahead and just flip it over, fold back the other side, and make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, do the same thing. Fold this one back on the score line so that you have flaps towards the red. Okay, so this is what you should have. See, a little accordion with about almost a half an inch on each of these. Bring back one of your green sheets that we just cut, and this should fit on both sides. Kind of adds a belly band with pockets. Okay, so we're going to place this at three and a half inches, the top part. So get your ruler out. So you have your placement marks and go ahead and make a mark at three and a half inches on both sides. So you get it on there straight. Get your score tape out and you're going to put score tape right along the edge here and right along the edge here on both sides. This is kind of thick so you want to make sure that it stays on. Do not go over the edges or, oops, sorry, do not go over your edges and do not go over your um, score line. Okay, so don't go over your score line. 
on either side and don't go over your edges. If you do, you need to cut it off. Make sure your score tape is down nice and tight. Pull off back. All right, so be sure that your burgundy is at the bottom and that the openings are at the top. Go ahead and place it right up against your marks that you just made, which should keep it even across the page. I don't want it to get stuck on my desk, so I'm going to pick it up. Be very careful, or you'll get it stuck on your page. Get right at my marks, pinch it, turn it over, fold over this flap, and fold over this flap. Now, I know these are sticking out, and it's okay because I'm going to put some glue in there to keep them down. So I'm just going to put a little glue inside each of these little flaps. It isn't that important that they stay down because it's just the back of our page anyway. We're going to be adhering it to our album page. But just to make it easier to put the score tape on, we'll go ahead and do that. So now I went and got a piece of my ribbon. And as you can see, I cut it. Let me show you. I cut just at both sides of these little um, kind of a flowery tip. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around the edges so I don't have a lot of bulk. I just have a little bit and put my ribbon right on the edge of that dark red piece, okay? Put some score tape down for my ribbon. I know it's odd that I use score tape for ribbon, but so far it has not done me wrong. I will glue this on the back. And I'm going to have my ribbon just, I mean my lace, pop up just a tiny bit where these little pieces are. They're going to pop up over the edge. So this is going to be a really pretty little lacy edge. You know, I can't feel my score tape through there, so it's not going to stick to my other page. I'm going to go ahead and get my glue. A little glue here, a little glue there. Wrap these around. Okay, so I did glue these down so that they're not flopping around. So what we have is a belly band with two pockets. So you got a pocket here, you got a pocket here, and then you can put stuff behind it. So let's go ahead and put score tape on the back and get our... Um, Get it down all nice and tight and get your album out. Frame all the way around, a little extra on these little pieces over here and one down the center. Take off the back of your score tape and get out your album. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place this page in. Now, the reason I didn't overdo it on this page is because the next page has a lot of bulk on it. Now, we do have a very large area right here so it won't matter but if I had to put a lot of bulk here and a lot of bulk here we would have been in trouble so a little bit of embellishing um, in your reserve you should have a little piece that looks like this it says warmest holiday wishes I am since it has this burgundy text text on it that matches this I'm going to just put it right at the top right there so I'm just going to get some glue and attach it and I pull out these darker colors. This is the only piece in the paper pad that was really rich and dark in comparison to the rest of the paper pad. So I'm going to get this centered on here the best I can. And I want to pull out some of these colors. Get it right to the top. It's going to still match the top of the paper. You can see how that's just going to pull a little bit of that dark burgundy color out. Okay. And I'm going to put another little one right down here. So in your paper pad, you should have this. Now, I have some notes on it, so just ignore that. We're going to, it looks like it's the pretty green on one side. And on the other side, it looks like this. I want to cut this little piece out, and I'm going to put it down here. All right? And the reason I'm going to put it down here is just in case something falls through here, we're going to leave it kind of open and just put a little bit of um, score tape on the bottom of it. It's going to be kind of a tab so that the pages don't slip through. They shouldn't, but I'm just going to be careful not to. So I want you to go in your paper pad and get for this piece out that has the green on the other side, and I want you to just to cut off the tab and slice right down between here and here. All right? I'll be right back. Okay, this is what you should have. Again, just ignore my post-its. The piece that I have my post-its on, which has this big green pump, this is going to be used on the next page. So take this, please, and set it aside. Now, all I need is this little piece off the bottom, and this is beautiful for some mats. So what I want you to do is just go ahead and cut straight across here and save all of this, and then cut this little piece out. I'll be right back and show you. So this is the piece I want to keep. This was just to the left of, to the right of it, so I've got this little piece of green that I'm going to 
toss and this whole piece here we can use for matting. So go ahead and put these in your reserve. Get out a piece of cardstock. Now I have found a little tiny piece that's perfect for this. Okay, this is just a long strip and this should fit perfectly on it with a tiny little border all the way around. Okay, so I don't want a great big huge border. I told you I've been pretty pretty borderless throughout this process. I don't know why. Place this on here. Sorry, was I out of the screen? I apologize. I just glued that down and then I'm just going to cut that little piece off with the same amount of border. I'm pretty good with scissors. If you don't want to use scissors, go cut it with your paper cutter. All right, so that's what I got. I'm going to put this back back in my stockpile. I'm going to put a tiny piece of score tape, one piece of score tape. Okay, this way, turn over. So this is the bottom, a piece of score tape right along the bottom edge. If any falls over, make sure you cut it off. This little piece that came over the edge. Be careful, bring your album back. And right at the bottom, okay, right at the very bottom, I'm actually gonna place this. And again, outside the box, I went to the very bottom of my page let me show you what's going on here. If I put a mat in here, it's not going to come out, okay? It's gonna go almost to the very bottom, but you could still get a five by seven mat in there. Let's move on. So first of all, in your reserve, you should have a piece of cardstock that looks like this. It's five and a quarter by two and a half and then I also want you to get a little strip that's at least four inches long and this one is almost this is six inches long by about a half an inch okay so we're gonna get out your scoreboard all right I kind of always do this crooked I hope it's okay you're gonna score your first line at one and three quarters and three and a half so one and three quarters and three and a half that should be perfectly in thirds, okay? okay? So now I want you to take that little strip that we have and I want you to go ahead and score it at, okay, so one and three quarters and then move over one eighth and score again. Then you're gonna come over to three and three and five eighths, move over to three and three quarters and do it again, okay? So you're gonna have little quarter inch spines on both sides. I like that. Okay, so take the first piece that we scored in thirds and fold it accordion style. Just fold it like accordion style. And this little piece that I just showed you unfolded, this is going to go around it. We're not going to glue it yet. It's going to go around it like a little belt. Okay? So first we have to put our paper on here. So set your little belt aside, open this up. Let's go get some scraps. In your scrap, in your reserve, you should have one of these. It's got little angels on it. We're gonna actually use the angel side. So go ahead and get, get it ready. So take this one and since it opens, I want it to open with this way. So this would be the front cover, okay? So basically I'm gonna take it, see cording like this, so I'm gonna open it and lay this, should be the cover. Take this piece, measure it, 16th of an inch away from the edges. I'm gonna cut off a teeny, teeny piece up here and a little, a little larger piece over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this and come back. Okay, so cut off a little couple little pieces. I'm gonna put the smaller piece in my reserve, get my glue, and we'll glue this one down. Also in your reserve, you should have this. Pink on one side looks like this on the other, okay? We're going to use most of this to fill up the rest of this, okay? So I'm gonna start this direction, and I'm gonna measure another little pink piece to fit here, cut, and glue. Be right back. Okay, so these two pieces I'm just gonna set up here. The one that fits, I'm gonna glue down. All right, I'm gonna take the smaller piece that we just cut off, again, measure, should only have to cut off one side, the little side that has the notes, kind of like that one. Cut off this little strip. Take the smaller piece, throw it in my reserve. 
glue this one down, turn it over. All right, so we should be able to get maybe two, if not three more out of this. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm gonna measure, keeping my notes and my lettering face forward on this particular piece. We can squeeze three more out of this. Go ahead and come and cut across the top first and then this way. Okay, so I got these two pieces. I'm gonna glue this one down. Happy mistake. I think I'm actually gonna turn it over and put this side, put it right in the middle. You know what? Things happen. So I like that side better. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. Take this piece, measure it, slice off a side. Okay, so this little piece is gonna go in reserve. I'm gonna glue this one down. Now, hopefully, this last little piece will probably fit nicely. It's got a cute little curl, and it just fits. Look at that. All I gotta do is cut off one little side. Be right back, take the smaller piece, throw it in reserve, and glue the last one down. There you go, so you got your cover. Some really pretty little poinsettias, turn it over. The pink, there you go. All right, so now let's go get Set that aside for a second. Go get the little piece that we put around it, the little belly band. So in your reserve, you should have a little piece of peacock paper that's left over. And it's almost the same length and the same width. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this whole thing with the peacock paper and then just trim off the little extra. So go ahead and glue the peacock paper down. Make sure that it's folding downwards this way. You're putting it on the top. Okay. You might need to trim just a tiny bit off, but it's okay. I know this is going to fold around, so I'm kind of following the fold, if that makes any sense. I'm kind of gluing it down while it's kind of folded, so it kind of goes with it. All right. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off the little tiny piece at the end. I'm going to throw that in my reserve pile. I highly doubt we're ever going to use a piece that small, but there. So now you have a little belt. So let's go back and get our little folded card. This belt overlaps quite sufficiently, so we are not gonna have a problem with it holding on. So now what we can do is I'm going to hot glue, open it up, put this little tabby down, put a little hot glue, because this stuff is shiny and the glue takes forever. Make sure it's straight across and glue it down. Okay, so that's what you should have. And this should just freely slide up and down. So we are going to get out our window frame and our window box elements. I bet you wondered when we were gonna use these. Um, they are actually gonna be used in the back and on the front. Um, I always decorate the front last. So get out this one first, your window box elements. And inside here, you have these pieces. First one I want you to get out is the actual window box. Okay, we're gonna set that aside for a minute. In your, res in your reserve, you should have this piece. We just used it. So just set it on the end, as close to the edge as you can. Tape it down and cut it out. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what you should have. Uh, be careful not to rip it with your tape. Um, we will be using this again, so you probably don't want to put it too far. Go ahead and put this in your reserve. Now, how this works, I'm going to put this over here. How this works is that this is just a little window box. And what I'm going to be using it for is more like a little uh, book holder. The little book that we made earlier, this little one, um, I'm going to have it be inside of it, okay? So just set your little book aside. So this has score marks. Go ahead and fold it over and fold it over, okay? And I am going to use my scoring tool. Don't score too hard because you will leave white marks. Um, and if you do, you can always take a little bit of uh, pigment and fix it. So, and there's gonna be something on this, so don't worry about it. And then these got little tabs. So push your little tabs over. Like I said, if you use your scoring tool, um, it will leave a little white mark. Now, since I left a little white mark, I am going to fix my little white mark, and I'm gonna just run it along the edge where, see, I made a little white mark, so I'm just gonna fix it. See? 
No more little white mark. All right, so you're gonna take those little tabs and you're just gonna glue them. A little tab, glue it down. Let that dry and set it aside. I had you set aside this piece that had all those little, we're gonna be making lots of different pieces, so bear with me for a few minutes, okay? This, this comes together in a lot of pieces. I'm going to be cutting this piece out, so go ahead and uh, cut straight across here and straight across the bottom. So you cut this one and this and this, and I'll be right back, okay? This is what you should have. The piece with the candle, please set aside. Put this piece in your reserve and now cut between these two and keep this one. I'll be right back. Okay, that's what you should have. Oh, Go ahead and put this in your reserve and then set this aside with your window box. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and get out your window frame and you're going to take these two pieces out. Use this piece out of your reserve, okay? So it's got tiny little blue on the other side. It's all green. And what we're gonna do, let me put this away. So we're going to use this far side and it's going to be very close. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that none of your edges, the things you're gonna cut, are gonna be really close, okay? So I mean close, I mean close. So you can go ahead and move it over. Be sure that the white, okay, make sure the white is at the top, that there's no blue in here. And I'm going to just leave enough over here for me to put a little bit of tape. Now, the key to making this window is that you get everything straight. You want to take this other part and put it in there evenly. Now, once again, this is not going off the top. So if you turn this over, the, none of the cutting part is going off the page. And I'm going to move the window. The base of the window right here is going to be lined up with these little bit, the little base of this. So I've got everything taped down. Now I'm looking at the other side. I don't have any of the die pieces that cut hanging over the edge. This is really close, I told you. So go ahead and run that through your die cutter and come right back. All right, before I could even get it back, half the window panes fell out. But that's what they're supposed to do, so carefully pull this off. So let's get all the tape off carefully. Do not tear, especially your frame. Now, don't worry about the little, but I don't want you to tear your frame, so be really careful taking your tape off. Go ahead and set these aside. So you can go ahead and put this in your reserve. We need to cut this to fit inside the window. So basically, I'm gonna set it right up against kind of where you want it. I'm going to place it so that my door of my church is kind of right in that pane. I can see a little bit of my path, I can see a little bit of this tree, and I can still see my lantern. All right, so I'm gonna hold it down, get my pencil, and I'm gonna draw a line where I'm gonna cut. Now we're gonna have to cut it just a tiny bit smaller so that it fits underneath. All right, so I've got my lines. Go ahead and go cut this out and come right back. All right, so the pieces that I cut off, uh, I'm just gonna throw them in my reserve for right now. Probably won't use them, but, and this should fit right on there. Now we need a little space to glue it on, so I'm not gonna glue it on just yet, but, okay, so let's go ahead and put all that aside. Now, in your, sorry, window box elements, we're looking for the piece that makes lacy thing. It looks like this, and then I went in your reserve, you have a piece of peacock paper that looks like this. This is why we never get rid of anything. Go ahead and place this on there. And then while you're at it, set this over here for a second. In your reserve, you have this. We just cut the window box out of it. Get this piece out of the same die. It's this little blue one right here. Okay, and go ahead and stick it right here on the top and run this one through your die as well. So you're gonna go over. So run this piece through your die and come back and run this piece on your peacock paper and come back. Okay, so this is what you should have. I am gonna go ahead and just kind of snip this off. Um, just to make it easier. <laughs> Sorry, just to make that a little bit easier. Okay, so release the die. I'm gonna to throw that in the garbage. So there's that delicate little piece. And then we'll release this one. I am going to throw this away. Look at that mess I made. There we go. All right, so this is what we have. Before we can put all of this together, set this aside with your window and your church and then your book and everything else, okay? We have one thing we need to do with the back, okay? 
this is your back that you cut earlier. I want you to get out your classic border basics and you're going to get out the die that looks like this little loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, oops, that one. Your ruler and your back of page 12. I want you to measure at the halfway point, which should be four inches. We're gonna do the same thing we've done the whole time. We're gonna take the die, we're gonna center it, make sure that it's exact same distance away on both sides. That's my center mark. Measure it up, put your tape down. I'm putting the tape on the other on the right side because that piece is coming off. Doesn't matter if I tear it. I am going to probably use the rest of the die to extend these ends like we did before because I do want it to match all the way across the across the side. So go ahead and cut this and come back. All right, so release. Release the die. Carefully. It's not a paper I'm worried about. I just don't want to tear the die up. Okay, so this is what I cut off and this is what I have. So go ahead and get out a new piece of cardstock and at the landscape, I want you to cut over six and a half inches and cut it off. I'm gonna take this little piece that I cut off and just throw it up there in my reserve. Uh, the piece that you just cut, go ahead and put the smaller piece in your stockpile. So I want you to go ahead and put your green piece aside for just a second and get your scoreboard out. You're going to score a uh, quarter of an inch off frame all the way around. So go ahead and score at a quarter inch, turn. kind of curled. Score it a quarter inch. Turn. Just makes it easier all the way around. I don't have to sit and think about it. Just turn. Score. So you've got a quarter inch score all the way around. Each of these little corners I want you to go ahead and clip out the square. So you're going to clip each little square out. Go ahead and throw the little squares away. So this is what you should have. See, all four corners, all four corners are cut out. So go ahead and fold on your score marks. And one of these we are not going to need. So I miscalculated. So I want you to go ahead and cut off one side of the score mark right up against the line we made. Sorry about that. I only needed three sides, so just cut off a quarter inch. So one of those little pieces that you scored off the long side, I just cut it right off, okay? In your reserve, you should have this piece. It had a little kind of a crook on it, um, and I cut that off earlier, I apologize. So just look for your larger piece that looks like this. It's not big enough to fit in here, but you know what? I'm gonna cut it. This doesn't need to be very wide, so I'm going to cut it down. So I'm going to measure over two inches and cut. So you should have cut this directly in half. What we can do is place one of the pieces right inside against the edge that we cut open. So our, so we got our tab up, tab up, tab up. And then we can take the other piece and just make it fit right at the bottom here. Measure over one inch and cut. Okay, put your larger piece in your reserve. Make sure no white is showing over here. So go ahead and glue the larger piece down. So push this piece right up against the edge. Don't go over the edge and don't go over your hinge up here, okay? So that goes there. So take this little piece, put it right up against the edge. By the time you put this down, you're not gonna be able to tell, okay? Don't get all excited about it. So now what I want you to do is put score tape Actually, you know what, we're gonna do glue. Now, the reason I'm doing glue is because if you put this down crooked on score tape, it's never gonna be okay. And I don't mean by saying never, but you'll have a really hard time um, getting it to come back up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I put a tiny bit of glue, this tab is up, put a tiny bit of glue on the end of each of these tabs. And I'm just gonna fold this tab over the top of it and fold it down like that. I'm just kind of pre-gluing these little corners together so that it's easier to lay this down. 
Let's put glue on the top of this hinge. So you can see the hinge is down. See that? Put glue on all these tops of these hinges now that they're pushed down. Okay. I'm going to take my green piece, ruffle on the side of the red. I'm going to lay it on the left hand side first, right up against the edge. Now we're going to have to cut off a little teeny piece down here, but that's okay. Push it down. I'm going to slip under here and snip out those little white pieces. Right here on the end there's a little white piece. Before this dries, I'm just going to go in here and snip. So before that dries, I'm snipping that little white piece out. Okay, same on the other side. Snip out that little white piece. Just those little corners that I forgot about. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and put my score tape on the back now. Go ahead and put your score tape one down the middle and two short ones on each side. This is how I score taped. I'm going to make sure everything's down nice and smooth. Go ahead and take off the back of your score tape. Get your album out and we'll adhere our window and all the pieces. Okay? So make sure that your opening is on the right. And you want to put this in so that it is even. Do not go over your, your uh, fold on the right. Put it as close to the center as you can and as close to the across from your other one. Oops, across from your other one so that they're now. We're going to start our elements. Hang on. So I forgot one more element. I apologize. This little window box is adorable, but the problem is, is that it's empty on the inside. So you don't have a way to attach it to anything. There is no tabbies or anything. And we want to attach this to our page, but I want it to stay there. So in order for me to make it stay there, I'm going to get this out of the reserve. It's the same color as the, as the back of our page. Get your window box die back out and go ahead and cut another die out of this and come right back. All right, go ahead and release. Try not to tear the green side. Put this in your reserve. This is gonna go inside of here, so I want you to fold it, fold it this way this time, okay? So you're folding the green to the inside. It'll all make sense in a minute. We are gonna have to do a little bit of cutting, but for right now, let's get it folded so we can see how much we need to cut. All right, fold up your little tabs, take this one, place it inside. Now, this should make an entire box. See now, it's a little too tall, okay? So what I want you to do, and I want you to mark what you're gonna cut off. See, I have a little white. We're not worried about this back part right now, but I am going to cut off a tiny bit across the top of here, and a tiny bit across the top of here, and then I'm gonna maybe shave off a maybe a sixteenth of an inch off the side of here. So, let's measure first with a pencil. Make a little pencil mark on that side. We'll mark that way. Okay. So, clear up. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut that little piece off. I'm gonna cut that little piece off with my scissors very carefully. So I'm just going to go right along the edge, cut that off. Right along the back, you can see the little, there's a little indentation, kind of like um, embossment, embossing. I'm going to cut that little piece all the way down to the embossing. You see how much I cut off? Okay. I'm just cutting this to customize and fit right inside of this. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice off a teeny, teeny sliver off the side. See the sliver? Off both sides. We're talking a tiny, tiny sliver. There. It should sit in there with nothing hanging over the edges. See? Now, we have the back of this to glue down, and it matches the wall on the inside. I want you to remember what we just did take notes as I say, because we are going to be doing the same thing on the window on the cover. So I'm putting glue on the sides, on the bottom. So I put glue on this tab, that tab, and that tab. 
and I'm just going to set it with the green inside and glue it together. So you should have a four-sided window box. Okay, we bring over your window. So you want the white side. Church, go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the green side of your window frame. Turn your church upside down so you have bright green on the back. And place it right into your window. This is the piece that we cut out of the um, peacock paper and it's going to go on the front of this but we need to cut a little bit off. So get your scissors and what I want to do is I want to just cut off just do see this line right here that goes over to this curl don't cut that off cut everything across the top of it off we're going to cut just these teeny little curls be really careful so i'm going to glue the front on first and let it dry i'm going to go on there just like that okay right up against the edge so go ahead and glue the other sides down. Now I'm going to tell you right now that this little curly thing is not going to go all the way around, so don't even bother putting glue on it. Glue it down. See? Told you that little piece wasn't going to work. Just going to snip it off. Snip that little thing right off. The other side. Glue it down. Isn't that cute? Okay, so the little details that I always like to add. Um, I'm going to take some glossy accents and put a little bit of sheen in these little panes because I think that if we make it look like it has a window, it'll be really cute. So we're actually going to make it look like it has glass in it. And I'm just taking my glossy accents and I'm doing little back and forth I'm making little lines. And when it dries, hopefully it's going to look like it has window panes shining in here. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to set this aside. I am going to go back and put a little bit of snow in the windows. I'm going to get my crystal clear out and add a little bit of snow just along the panes. Now, this is outside snow, so it doesn't need to go on the panes. So, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my glue and I'm just putting a little tiny dab right along the edge and then kind of make it look like the snow's gathered up on the outsides of the windows. So I'm not going, see, just looks like a little dabs of snow are laying on the window sills. And then I'm putting a little bit of this snow. So this is just my crystal clear. Can you see, it looks like a little snow sitting on the outside of the windows. So that has to dry, so I'll set that aside. While I am waiting for everything to dry, I went ahead and ran a row of bling over here on page 11, just across the top of the second envelope. Remember we have our pocket. I'm going to run a long line of bling right along the edge of this little curve so it will match the other side. So, so go ahead and run your bling, let it dry, and we'll be right back. All right, a little bling always goes a long way. For the back of the window piece, I am going to use score tape. Putting a little score tape and framing it all the way around. Got that on there. Let me zoom back out. So, go ahead and get your album out. Alright, are you ready? I've got all my elements. I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the back of my window. Making sure that I keep it straight. Putting it as close to the middle as I can. Go ahead and pull the score tape off the back of your little window box. Alright, so I got all the... Let me get this put right evenly on top of the window. I'm laying it right down on the windowsill. Press it down. I even have the green that matches the wall on the inside. Isn't that cool? Next is our little piece here. Go ahead and put glue on the back of this. And I'm going to actually place it slightly above the window. Got that down? Now I'm going to take a little piece of score tape, the length of my window top, and placing it right between the window, right here, between the window and the little curtain rod that we put at the top. This is for my lace. And I'm 
going to place my lace so that it kind of goes above the window. So now I've got some little curtains. Isn't that cute? You put your little book in. All right, so I'm going to be adding a medium size silver poinsettia in this corner. And then I'm going to grab some leaves right under here. I'm going to poke one right up under here. I'm going to get a little pink poinsettia and I'm going to tuck it right under here. One more leaf and I'm going to tuck this one right under here. All right, so I added a little silver poinsettia down here with some leaves as well. So. so we are going to start our cover here and first thing I did was um, added some bling and I just added it around the top and the sides for right now, okay? Now, we're going to get out the paper that we set aside and get started on our window box for our cover. Okay, so what you're going to need is I had you set these two pieces of green aside earlier. Hopefully you still have them because we're going to need these, all right, in your reserve. Or if I had you set it aside, I can't remember now. You should have this piece. It looks like this on one side. We're going to be die cutting out this little sled, okay? So your window box elements is this one. And we are going to use the window box and we're going to cut it out of this green, okay? And then on the other piece of green, I want you to get this piece and cut it out of this, okay? I want to go get those set and we're going to cut them and bring them right back. Okay, so here is your window box and we're going to just throw these two pieces in our reserve, making sure all the little pieces are out. Now I'm going to take this piece out and this piece out. So you should recognize this piece. This is the piece that we use to cut the inside window box with. We are going to take these two pieces and we're going to lay them on here and die cut them out of this. So go ahead and get those ready and die cut them out. All right, this is what you should have. Um, this probably will not get used for anything, but go ahead and throw it in your reserve for now. You just never know. Okay, so this is what you should have. Now I'm going to go get a piece of white cardstock. Okay, so you're going to cut a window frame and one of these cute little fancy ones out of this white. Now when you put this window frame down, you want to make sure that it's even all the way around, okay? Make sure that it's inside evenly because these are two different pieces. So go ahead and get those pasted down and go die cut them out, okay? And sure enough, I forgot one thing. You do need the back of your window box the, so that we have something to adhere to the cover of our album. Cut out a white back, a white window frame or win, window panes, a white decorative piece, and a white window box. Okay? Be right back. Okay, so these are what you should have. I'm just cutting all the elements out right now and setting them aside. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the pile with the other things we just cut. So now in your paper pad, you should have this. Let me, I'm trying to keep things out of your way so you don't get confused. Okay, in your paper pad, you should have this. It looks like this on one side and it's green on the other. All we're going to cut out of this is one window. You know what? We're going to save her. So take this side, measure over three and a half inches and cut. You can go ahead and cut the tab off the top too. So cut your tab off first and then measure over three and a half inches and cut. Go ahead and put your larger piece in your reserve and we'll use it for mats later. And go ahead and turn this one over. It doesn't matter which end, measure four and a half inches and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. I'm sorry for all the mess. This is what we're gonna cut. Put this in your reserve and we'll go ahead and align up our window. Now make sure it's all even. This is really important. You need to make sure that the window pane on the inside is the same amount of space all the way around. So, same space from here to here as here to here and here to here. If it moves in the die cutter, you're going to have a crooked window, which means that you'll have to go get another piece of your green and cut it out again. So, I'm gonna go run this through my die cutter and be right back. And since I'm going over there, I went ahead and got my sled and the other piece. You might as well do these both at the same time. Go ahead and put your sled die right on top so match it up as carefully as you can. Put a piece of tape and run this through your die 
at the same time as you do your window, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is get out some of my um, color box cocoa. And I'm just going to put a little bit of cocoa around the edges of this little sled because I don't know about you, but I'm not good enough to get all the little edges so that they're perfect. And this will just camouflage um, some of the white edges so it doesn't look so obvious. Don't have to be perfect, okay? So I got a little bit of brown around the edges. I did the best I could. So let's go ahead and put our box together. I'm gonna start with my green one, okay? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set this one here. Get my white one, take this one, place it inside this one. Just like we did before, just like the back page, you're gonna have a tiny bit to cut off. So I'm just gonna use my pencil. So we just need to cut off just, I'm just gonna cut where there's a, all the way across. There's kind of a little guideline that was right across the top of it. And just cut it right off. Now, go ahead and glue it together and place it in here, just like that. You got this piece cut out. And this is going to be the trim. Fold it so that it fits a little trim right across the box, okay? Go ahead and glue it on. All right, so let's up let our window box. Oh, no, we can't let it go yet. This little piece right here, okay? Zoom. All right, so this also gets folded um, on the little dotted lines. All right. A little bit of glue on the sides after you fold it. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here. Don't want it in too far. Okay, I just placed it kind of in there. I'm gonna hold it for a second and then I'm gonna set it up way to dry. Okay, so trim and our little flower holders. Go ahead and set it aside. Two pieces of decorative pieces. I'm actually going to glue these back to back, but I want to leave a smidgen of white showing. And this is just going to make it look a little more 3D. So go ahead and put a little bit of, anyway, all the way around the outside. And then right about a quarter of an inch in the middle on both sides. Okay, so it stays together after we put it down. I'm going to set this on top a smidgen of white. So it has kind of a tiny little white border. So go ahead and set that aside to dry. Now your green window and your white panes. Once again, the white panes are gonna go right on top of the window and I'm gonna sit them right on top of my green panes. Let that dry. Your paper pad, you should have this, okay? Take off the tab first and then measure over four and a half and cut. Whoops, measure over four and a half and cut after I cut off the tab. Okay, so this larger piece is gonna go in my reserve for my mats for later. And basically all I want you to do now is cut out this whole frame with the window. So you are going to go ahead and leave the um, candle and everything. It's fine if you cut the bottom of it off. Go ahead, like I said, and cut out the window. I'm going to be right back. All right, so these are the pieces that I cut off. I'm just going to go ahead and put those in my reserve. So this should fit right over the top like this. Okay, so go ahead and put glue on the back of your green and white window panes. Make sure you line them up nice and neat. Now, I'm gonna get my candle out, and I'm actually gonna put some zots behind this. So I'm gonna get my zots out. Press it right here, the backing off. Now I'm going to press this right on top of the other one. Kind of cool, huh? So very carefully, I want you to cut down the center of this. I'm going to center it right on my cutting board. Okay, I'm on a cutting line. I'm going to grab my ruler. Hold on really tight. Take your craft knife and run it. And I'm not going to do it really hard the first time. I'm just going to keep cutting until it lets itself loose. Got it? I am, however, going to snip off these little things at the top because now that they're cut in half, they look kind of silly. So that little flowery thing is going to go away. Okay? So we are going to glue 
these as close to the edge as we possibly can and these are going to be little shutters okay so a very fine line I don't want to lose much of my shutters so I'm just going to do a really fine little line right along the edge here that little white border is at the top of the shutters okay make sure they're on there evenly and let them dry I'm going to go ahead and get my window box out and all my flowers I'll be right back okay so basically this is kind of up to you you can see I have some little stems on the bottom and I'm just going to be placing these inside here and gluing them in but so you're just going to have a little flower box fill it up with multiple flowers and then I made took some of the same little flowers and I cut them into a little leaves and I'm going to place those in there okay be right back okay so there's my little window box with all my little baby poinsettias even though there are not real poinsettias in them I guess we can get started putting things together all right I'm using my Tim Holtz ornate plates I'm sorry <coughs> and I'm using the kind of rose gold one so the first thing I'm going to do is put my what do you call them brads in and fold them out and I always kind of bend them back like that I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out put this back in my reserve usually what I do I measure so that I can see that it fits looks like it is going to be to the outside so I'm going to make just a little bit bigger than the circle that we have okay okay so it's gonna fit right in there I'm gonna get get it glued down and get it ready to put on my side of my spine so I went ahead and got that all put together and glued it on the side. 